Um, I think that we are all just sort of holding on. That it, I mean, it has to end if it keeps going like this. I don't know that anyone knows what that would look like. I don't think that as nurses, as humans, you know, a lot of us can keep doing this. And I'm not at the bedside. I'm not taking care of COVID patients day in and day out. But even so, it's really, really hard. Um, and everyone is everyone is tired, everyone is sad, everyone is frustrated. People are getting, getting stressed. Our, our resources are stretched to the limit. Um, we offer a lot of overtime to our staff and our staff is fantastic. I, have, I work with some of the most amazing people I've ever met. Um, they're really rising to the challenge, but at the same time, it's really difficult for them to keep coming in day after day trying to pick up extra shifts and things because they have to kind of balance their personal stress um, with, you know, the need and the desire to come in and help out their coworkers, their work family and things like that. And so it's a, it's a tough balance between personal life and, uh, and work life. Absolutely been the most difficult period of my career. I came from, like I said, a small hospital, but in a busy recreational town, it was not uncommon to have multi-patient trauma situations where our small ER would be inundated with critically injured people. We'd have multiple codes at a time. And that, that was like a, a one and done kind of a thing. This is day after day, relentless layers and layers of, of tragedy and it doesn't stop. But no, I think, I think the desire to care for people and to help people is still there um, every day regardless of how many COVID patients I've seen, um, regardless of whether the patient has COVID. There's, there's always a few moments where you really feel like you've had a connection with someone. Um, then you've really helped that person and that makes all the difference, which is what makes this worthwhile.